Hello, my name is Ness Tilson. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use our quick design libraries to set up sliding doors and their hardware. If I click inside the cabinet, I click right and I add a door, I can see that there are actually several different types of door that I can insert into my project. Door number one, which is a basic door. Door number two has the suffix roll22 added to it. This means that if I choose the door type roll22, sliding doors will be set up with the necessary play to insert Klein roll22 sliding door hardware. Door 3 has a suffix ECU added to it. If I insert a door type ECU, sliding doors will be set up to receive the ECU Clippo sliding door hardware. For our first example, let's just take a roll 22 and let's set in a sliding door. So I'm going to click the door sliding and I'm going to set it to a built in. And when I click OK, Polyboard adds the two sliding doors. And if I select the doors and I look on the right hand side of their properties and I see they're linked to the top, I can see that they are set up with 4mm play on the top and 4mm play on the bottom, which is just right for our Klein Roll22 hardware. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to apply the hardware, so I'm just going to Libraries, Submethods, Fittings Links, and I'm going to click on Klein Roll22 slash door 19mm, because these are 9mm doors, and I click OK. Polyboard will then create the actual grooves for the rails of the Klein Roll22 hardware. If I look in the 3D, I can see that the grooves are actually created by Polyboard. And now what I need to do is put the machining for the door rollers onto each door. To do that, I'm going to click on the door. I'm going to go to the first door here. It's Properties. Click Edit. Apply this library structure. And in the library, I have a Klein Roll22. I'm going to apply that to my door. We can see that Polyboard has positioned the drilling for the rollers. While that door is selected I can actually click right and in the menu do a copy structure. Go to the door number two and click right again and paste the same structure onto the second door and we can see that the doors now has got its drilling to receive the rollers and the cabinet has got its grooves to receive the rails. To put in the ECU doors it's very similar process Let's just go back here and get rid of the doors and let's put in my ECU doors. This time I'm going to select door number 3 ECU. I'm going to put it in a, as a sliding door and I'm going to put it built in and click OK. And now we have the doors are set up for the ECU hardware. So if I look in the links on the right hand side I, I can see now that I have 5mm slack at the top, 5mm slack at the bottom. That is the plane necessary for the ECU Clipo hardware. I'm now going to apply the hardware. So I'm going to go to Submethods, Fitting Links, Echo Clipo Hardware. This time Polyboard puts in the two grooves for the rails at the top, but the Echo is a bit different at the bottom. The doors are actually grooved, and there are two drillings to locate the guides. And the same way as for the client hardware, we now have to put the hardware drillings onto the door. So let's explode it, select the first door, and in the door structure, apply the library structure which is the Echo Clipper door structure and this time Polyboard just does the drilling for the rollers at the top. I'm going to click right, copy that structure, go to door number two and click right and paste the same structure onto the door and now here we have all the hardware and the door set up for Echo Clipper sliding door. Thanks very much for watching this video I hope it's been helpful and don't forget that these are just examples of how to set up for elements in Polyboard using our quick design libraries. These libraries can be adapted to your specific needs. Either you can do it yourself or you can use our hardware setup program which is available from our Wood Designer website. Thank you very much. Goodbye.